What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys have had a great Monday. We now have that in the books, and man, it's been... <laughs> It's been a long week for me already, and it's only Monday. Um, <laughs> me, I always try and pack in as much as possible. Let me say shout out to my man, uh, Mr. Davis, uh, the Eagle fan who was the witness for one of the three witnesses for Michael Irvin's case. Uh, we ended up interviewing him late last night, and uh, he's really cool people. And You know, I, I, I hate it when you Eagle fans do this stuff to me. But you turn out to be actually nice, decent people and stuff. It's hard to hate you guys when you're so cool. But be that as it may, I hope that they get the Michael Irvin situation actually resolved sooner than later. Um, I personally, and again, I, this is just my opinion, and my opinion doesn't honestly mean anything. It's really the court system that's what it all means. Um I honestly don't think that Michael Irvin is guilty of what he's being accused with, and I hope that he gets the chance to get his career and his life back on track um, as well. Now, the Dallas Cowboys, if you remember what it was like this time last year where we were all disgusted and we were listening to all the talking heads saying how the Cowboys, you know, this is the worst off season in their history. We had Jerry Jones and the paternity suit. We had the Amari Cooper traded for a ham sandwich. We ended up losing Randy Gregory, um, Cedric Wilson, Lyle Collins, uh, Connor Williams. We just looked like we were just like what the Rams are right now. It looked like we were wholesaling, just getting rid of the team. And I honestly believe that the Cowboys were actually looking to get rid of salaries and things and say, this is going to be a red shirt year and we're going to go all in for this year, which is feels like they're going all in this year. But the team ended up being better than what they thought it was going to be. At least that's the way it appeared to me. And that's the way it felt. But right now having gotten Brandon Cooks. Now, I'm not going to say he's the best wide receiver out there. We've got some Cowboy fans that are, you know, basically saying, oh, well, you know, he's, you know, almost 30 years old, this, that, and the other. It's like, look, he's a lot better than Noah Brown. Definitely. And Michael Gallup should be better, you know, another year away from the injury. I'm happy about that. Our secondary is definitely better with Stephon Gilmore there. And bringing back some of the key pieces from last year. Right now, the Cowboys are doing some really good things. And they're actually trying some different things. We've become, you know, the mad scientists. The Cowboys are always taking somebody who um, is playing one position, and they like to try and, you know, stir it up and, and make them something different. And that's what they're trying to do with Isaac Alicon. Isaac Alicon, you know, he is one of our um, world players, so to speak, where we ended up getting the designation where it doesn't cost you a roster spot because they were a foreign player. Isaiah Alcon from Mexico, I think from Mexico, um, a fan favorite who's an offensive guard. They're trying to make him a defensive tackle. Um, and this is per Dan Quinn's request. Now, this does happen, you know, Mark Tune, one of the best offensive tackles of the Cowboys, was a defensive tackle originally, and during the 90s, they converted him to an offensive tackle. So apparently, Dan Quinn has seen something with Isaac Alacon that he likes and wants to work with him. And, you know, quite frankly, what do you have to lose? Nothing. Try it. See what happens. And um, I hope, though, I hope with the Cowboys... Uh, taking Brandon Cook's contract and redoing it, restructuring it, getting that additional $6 million that currently we sit around have um, somewhere around the neighborhood of $15 million with another 11 coming. <sighs> Forgive me. It's been a long day. Another 11 coming on June 1st that the Cowboys, I believe, are still planning on doing some stuff. Now, technically, technically, they haven't done anything in free agency yet. The moves they've made thus far have actually been trades. 
So we'll see if the Cowboys get their feet wet, see if they decide to go out there and get some guys. Um, you have to look at it from the standpoint of this year that it almost feels like everything is bargain basement wise. The cost of players feels like it's gone down. Um, when you start seeing like the numbers for running backs, um, it's dirt cheap. I mean, dirt cheap from where we've been before. And so there may be some opportunities that, sorry, I hit that. Open this up. There may be some opportunities to add some more talent at a really good price. And if the Cowboys can add some more talent, I'm still that guy that believes in the offense and defensive line. Because to me, when you, as my man DMV says, when you can control the middle of the field, you control the field. And you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck on the offense and defensive line. Because basically, offensive line opens holes for running backs. Offensive line keeps the quarterback upright. So listening to people say, oh, we need to go ahead and get this running back, that running back. It's like, listen, if you've got a really good offensive line, an average back's going to be able to get into those holes. If you've got a terrible offensive line, yeah, you might get a Barry Sanders who can make a whole lot out of nothing, but you're better off having that offensive line that's good. And even with Stephon Gilmore and the back end that we have, we still need to be able to stop the run to force people to pass so they have to pass against that strength that we have on our team. So by no means is the cake baked yet. We still have a lot of work left to do. There's still some holes in this roster that we need to fill and things. But you have to look at it from the standpoint now, at least the Cowboys are trying something. There's no guarantee that any of these guys are going to work out. You end up making the best educated decision that you can, and you try and get as many good players as you can. And so far, we've gotten some really good ones um, with Brandon Cooks as well as uh, Stefan Gilmore. It's kind of crazy because doesn't it feel like the Stefan Gilmore thing was like last year? That was just a few days ago. It's like time is just flying by so fast. It's like, wow. I, I just can't get it. But anyway, tomorrow is another day. As you can see, I'm tired, boss. I'm real tired. I am going to go to sleep. And God willing, I'll wake up first thing in the morning. But remember, everybody, tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get a chance again. And I love you guys. Sleep tight and get back to work tomorrow. Peace.